Hey everyone, Dom Nakarado here with a new Protosphere feature peek. I've been thinking about how I want to introduce you all to the new version of Protosphere, and quite frankly, nothing I could think of would do it any justice. So without too much fanfare, here it is, Protosphere 2.0. It goes without saying that we're really excited about this new version, its new look, its deeper integration with Microsoft Link and SharePoint, and all of those new features it has to help improve the way you work and collaborate with others. For now, let me give you a quick tour of the UI. For those of you who are already familiar with Protosphere, you'll see we've made some major changes to the interface. We've always tried focusing on the end user first, having a very business-friendly interface that anyone could get right into and work with. We've kept that mindset with this new and improved UI. Up here, you'll find the main toolbar. These options provide you access to various settings, give you access to the various locations in the environment, allow you to hide and show certain windows, and give you controls while moderating a session. In this upper right corner, you'll see a jump menu that I can also use to teleport around the environment. On the right side of the application window shown here are my people lists. This particular tab shows all the people that are currently in my location. This is where you can begin to see the deeper integration we've done with Microsoft Link. For example, if I hover over the presence icons of my colleagues, I'll see their Link contact cards appear. Below these lists is my conversation area. This is where I can use text messaging as one form of communication while in Protosphere. The group conversation tab, for example, lets me have a chat with anyone else in my current location. I can also have private chats with my colleagues in Protosphere or on Link. The bottom area of the application window includes the name of the location I'm currently in, my presence status, a little message center that informs me of various actions I've done or that are taking place, and access to my audio controls, including muting and unmuting my microphone, access to the phone dialer, and my audio device selections. Last, but of course not least, is my 3D window. We've done a series of improvements to your view of the environment that I'll go into in an upcoming feature peek, but for now I wanted to highlight this component down here, the new Protosphere action bar. This element of the UI contains a set of context sensitive controls that allow you to perform various functions depending on what you're doing in the environment. For example, in its default state I can use it to have my avatar gesture, I can control my view, or even access the laser pointer. If I happen to click and zoom in on a surface, the action bar changes and gives me abilities to navigate through the content on that surface, add or remove new content, or perform other functions like share my desktop or annotate over the surface. I'm going to leave it at that for now, but please keep your eye out for more Feature Peak videos that I'll release over the coming weeks. I'll be recording a handful of these videos showcasing the various new features and functions and providing some insight into what Protosphere 2.0 can do for you. As always, take care and I'll see you in world.